Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Kids World mm, Home Edition. Okay, for real, September 13th, we are going to be back in person together with the Kids World. Let's have a shout out. Whoop! You know, I'm so excited to be back. I'm ready to be with y'all to teach y'all in person, to hear y'all sing, to hear you laugh, to hear what you have to say about some lessons that we have and what games we're going to have. So I'm really, really excited. So see you then. Now, today's lesson is really, once again, cool, because not only is it one from the Bible itself, but also it was taught by Jesus himself and it represents what we should do in our life when it comes to Jesus Christ. Now we know and we say that, man, I would do anything for Jesus or I love Jesus so much or I would give up anything for Jesus. We say that and we got to look at that and be sure that we really mean it. And Jesus has parables. Okay, what is a parable? So a parable is a story that Jesus tells. Okay? And what Jesus says to the disciples is it's for those who really listen. Okay? It's a, it's a story that points to Christ. It's a story that feeds the Spirit but in secret. Because if you have a whole congregation, think about it. You have a whole congregation. You got to find out who is there for the right reason. Because a lot of people were there just because Jesus could heal. And just because people were there for Jesus to heal didn't mean that they were there because Jesus was the Son of God. They were in it for themselves. So Jesus had to teach through parables. And those who were there for real, for Jesus Christ, they understood the story. They understood what he was saying. To others, they would walk out being like, why well, was he talking about wheat? Like, what the heck, dude? That doesn't make any sense. So that's a lot of the reason why he told parables is to pick out those who were for real from those who were fake. And in this parable, it's really cool because it's super simple. And a lot of people have different meanings behind it. They, they try to figure it out. But the real reason and the real story behind it is so much better than what others think it means. The first parable, sorry about this, guys, my eyes are just, the first parable that Jesus goes over has to do with buried treasure. And it says that the man went to a field and found buried treasure. Okay. Now, once he found this buried treasure, he hid it again. He put it back into the field and hid it, went home and sold everything that he had. I'm talking about everything, his house you know, his, his possessions, you know, he probably quit his job. He probably did all of this stuff. He gave everything that he owned and sold it. So that way he could buy that field where the treasure was buried. And it says that he was so joyful to have that treasure. And then Jesus says that is the kingdom of heaven. And then he goes on and says another one. There was a man looking for pearls. Now we know what a pearl is, right? It's a little round ball that comes from, I believe they're clams and it's built by pressure. And sometimes when you open them, you find them and that's what the necklaces are made from. And they have like all the pearls and they look really nice. And well, this man was trying to find pearls and he found a really, really rare one. And it says that he went and sold everything that he had so that way he could purchase that pearl. That is the kingdom of heaven. What does that have to do with us? 
Here's what it has to do, okay? You and I say that we love Jesus and we can't wait to get to heaven, right? Like, I'm, I'm guys, I'm so excited to be able to one day go to heaven because it's going to be a blast. We're going to be in the presence of God himself. We're going to be seeing the disciples and the apostles. We're going to be able to see each other. We're going to be able to see family and friends who were saved and who believed on the Son of God. We're going to see so many people, and we're going to be there worshiping. We're going to be there working. We're going to be there just praising for eternity. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. But what does this story have to do with this? The kingdom of heaven, what is it worth? What is it worth to you? What is it worth to others? Well, quite frankly, this story just told us how much it's worth and how much it should be worth to us. Think of the buried treasure as the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The kingdom of heaven is heaven. It's the final picture. It's what we're working towards. Okay? What we're not not quite working as in deeds, but working as in growing spiritually, reading and praying the Bible, getting to know Jesus more, so that way one day when we get to heaven, it's nothing new. It's like an extension of what we've had here on in, in the relationship with Jesus Christ. So Think of the treasure as the kingdom of heaven. What are we willing to do to have that relationship with Jesus Christ? Well, Jesus gave us a perfect example through the parable. What did the man do? He went and sold everything. Now, does that mean that, oh, because I have this TV and because, you know, I have this fan... Um, that if I keep them, I can't go to heaven, or it's not important to me? No, that's not what it means. What it does mean is, are you willing? Are you willing to give everything in order to follow Christ? Are you willing to put yourself last and put Him first? You see, because the man didn't find joy in his stuff. He didn't find joy in his life until he had what was in that field. Think of the man with the pearl. He saw that pearl and he knew that he had to have it. He had to have it. And it was worth everything to him. Our relationship with Jesus Christ should be worth everything to us. So the next time that we're here and we have a challenge in our lives and we see things, it could be possessions like my TV or whatever. It could be friends. You know, when it comes down to it, maybe friends are more important. Maybe family is more important. Maybe your life and job and your future are more important. Are those bad things? They're not bad things. It only becomes bad when those things have a higher place than God. But if we move God above those things, that's fine. So what are you willing to give up? Is there something in your life today that you're just holding on to because you say, I just can't get rid of this because this is more important than Jesus? That's what the story is here to help us with, to show us that there is nothing in this world that is worth more than a relationship with Jesus Christ. In this case, the kingdom of heaven. Your eternity. Guys, one day when we're gone, we're going to be somewhere forever. 
and ever and ever and ever and my mind can't even comprehend that because I'm just like what you know because that's like forever there is no coming back and we're gonna relive our life and then it's just gonna be a big cycle there's no like oh press the reset it's not like TV or video games to where you can just like pause the game and restart that's not what's going to happen so what is eternity worth to you is it worth everything and are you willing to because that's the only thing that gives you joy or is there something in your life that you just are holding on to saying Lord I, I need help I need help to release this show me what there is in my life that I need to let go of so that you and your kingdom are number one in my life I love you guys and I will see you next week I think, and like, yeah, right? And then the 13th is the first week we're going to see each other in person. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.